Hi, I'm Kyla Pereira, Principal Software Engineer for IDMS at CA Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to access your IDMS network database using SQL. In today's business world, people need to access their data now, in real time, using modern day interfaces. Many of our clients struggle with this problem and often resort to offloading their data to other platforms using batch readers, journal extracts, or other replication technologies. Not only are these techniques time consuming and inefficient, but they're also unnecessary. With our IDMS SQL option, it's never been e easier to access your IDMS database. In fact, it's as easy as one, two, three. Let me show you. Step one is to bring up OCF, the online command facility within IDMS. Step two is to create an SQL schema for our network database. Since many of you are familiar with the employee demo database, we'll use that. All you need to do is issue the create schema statement. This creates an SQL schema, demo scheme in this case, that will reference the network schema entities. After executing this statement, you can access records like tables and elements like columns. And now I'll hit enter. And for step three, well there is no step three. You're done. That's it. It's just that easy. And to show you that we can now access our network employee data using SQL, let's run a quick select using our newly created schema against the employee record. Voila, we're now accessing our network IDMS data using SQL. Now I showed you this using SQL, this SQL access with our OCF tool, but this access can be done in any number of ways using ODBC, JDBC, through programmatic interfaces, over the web, you name it. If you'd like more information on this topic, please refer to the IDMS page on the CA website or take a look at the video Eddie Gorga put together on the creation of an ODBC data source. Stay tuned for the next installment in our IDMS modernization series where we'll demo the use of the IDMS ODBC and JDBC drivers. Thanks for watching.